Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to Reactivity of Monogata Uri. Um, turn out episode uh, two of the new Off and Monster season that's currently airing. Came out a couple hours ago, and your boy had to get on it, you know, I guess. Um, so, basically, boom. So, these are the comments. These are the comments from last episode. Um, a lot of comments. Really appreciate all of y'all. This is gonna, I know there's like a million of them, so you're probably like, oh, we're gonna be here forever. Um, I actually don't know how long we're gonna be here for two main reasons. One, I mostly, when I was reading these, was just like, okay, spit your facts, spit your facts. And then was like, I'm perfectly fine with most of these, and I think they're great, and I don't have anything to add. You know what I mean? Um, but it's also even more than that, that this arc, or at least the first episode that obviously these comments are responding to, um, was the entire arc, which I was unaware of wh when we finished the episode, right? Um, so that's kind of crazy, because like... Originally, I was thinking like, oh, we're about to go into like some like Groundhog Day time loop type, you know, type storyline. See if we can make things happen. Also throwing a little bit of, um, uh, like what this comment is saying, throwing a little bit of like, oh, get, let's see if we can get like Ononoki can maybe get freaking Tsukihi to like admit that maybe she knows something's going on, right? I was kind of fishing for some plot lines, right? Um, but no, the arcs, the arcs GG. Uh, which I think is also totally fine. I mean, I think it does work as like a final punchline for it to just be like, and we stay like this, right? Um, but I would totally agree with Ice here that, quote, I imagine this is a setup arc for Tsukihi at some point later on. Uh, that would make the most sense to me, right? Because it does feel like, like the ending is, it's still a problem. That's the ending. It's right. The beginning of the arc, oh, we got problems there. You know, Tsukihi is a, a big problem right now. And Ononoki is like, this is a problem. The end of the arc, Ononoki is like, this is still a problem, and I'm not gonna mess it up this time, but we all know that she's gonna mess it up again. Um, yeah, GG. Uh, there was, I, like, this, I think is a really good idea, where, like, um, based off the trailer, also the trailer, wait, let me bring that up. I literally, bro, the trailer that I remember watching was so cooking with the whole Ononoki magical girl thing, right? Like, that's, that was, like, half of the, tr half of all the, like, pre- season stuff that I watched that was like, you know, like the trailers, the teasers for this season was like all that type business. So for it to already be like done, it's like, okay, well now I'm completely blind, except for like Nadeko's probably gonna have some crazy stuff go on. But like that was very very surprising to me. Um specifically that the trailer a lot of the trailer has already like concluded, you know? Ah, excuse me, that was some of the Dr. Pepper coming up. You know you got you gotta be lit for the uh for Monogar. But yeah, let me just scroll top to bottom real quick. Um, this is true and real. I thought there was a funny comment or reply, I think. The, 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 she in fact did not heal that trauma. That shit hit too deep. We're talking about the toothbrush episode. You know what? Let's not bring up the toothbrush episode, okay? We're, we're already in too deep here. We don't need to be like going back to the, the dark days. Though, who knows? Maybe the dark days will return. Who knows what this season got in store? That's going to be the scary thing. Um, but yeah, like this, I don't really agree with. Absolutely big, absolutely real. Um... Onanoki, there was one idea that I really liked that was kind of brought up of how, um, right here, a lot of what Onanoki finds in Tsukihi ironically applies to herself, not to the same degree, but it does. Uh, I think that's a really cool point, and that it also illustrates why the end of the episode is such a GG, you know? Because it's not just that Nadek or Nadeko, it's not just that Tsukihi is a repeating entity as an oddity, but also that Onanoki isn't learning as from her mistakes either, right? Like, so they're both kind of doing the same thing, you know? Onanoki makes the same mistake with the ice cream, with the same cream on the cheek, pause, that causes Nadek or Tsukihi to, to discover her as a doll, you know? And so it's, that I think really illustrates why, um, or like kind of illustrates the punchline of the ending, you know what I mean? Um... Where, right here, Ononoki almost equally falls into the trap of not learning, which is the punchline of the ending. Ononoki claims Suki is freeloading, but so is she, etc., etc., and there's a lot of irony. And they kind of, they made a couple, some of that explicit, but, um, you know, you could, you could definitely read into it even beyond that, right? Um, bram, bram, bram. and then also, yeah, I mean, like, the, there is still a very, like, human part of Ononoki, which, it's weird, because Tsukihi's pretty human, too, in a lot of ways, right? I mean, she looks like a human, she feels like a human, Aragi knows she feels like a human, so, you know, you could even still kind of connect that a little bit, um, but, yeah, let me go back to the top, see if, see if there, if I, blah, 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 this was crazy, by the way, I'm not gonna explain this, well, I'll explain the tiny bit, basically, um, Hachikuji saying, 
sorry I stuttered is like this is like word playing or no no uh, Hachikuji saying sorry I turned it into a sheet of paper referring to the slug is a word play that sounds like the same as sorry I bit my tongue or sorry I stuttered which is like her gimmick that's just insane that just is crazy to me and it's like it's so sad that I don't know Japanese because literally the word play is an entire element of the show that I just cannot touch you know what I mean um and would just it just turns it from like already like plot character themes yada yada toothbrushing all these like wonderful parts of the show and there's an entire another layer that I am like unaware of um but it's super cool to get the little little glimpses into it there's also I think I um I uh, I participate in the extermination of slugs also like had a connection or something like that so that's just super cool um Bram, 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 bram. Sengoku. I think I think that's gonna be where we're going next. Is Nadeko? That's kind of my guess. Uh, I don't really know as to how the ordering will work because they're doing it out of order, right? So, as like, it you know what I mean? Where it's like if this right here, this is the third art in Oroka Monogatari, which has three entries. So. Are we going back to the first two, or are we going forward? Because I could see us going forward to Nadeko. I think this is a this was a really great theory as like, oh, not only was Ononoki making a mistake in like with the ice cream originally and kind of repeating that, not only was that a whole mistake, but in doing this whole magical girl gimmick, she also removed or like, yeah, removed the slug tofu thing from Nadeko, which is basically unsealing her, which causes Nadeko to become a problem, right? So, even, it's like crazy, because even as bad as, um, Tsukihi is, as like, uh, the Phoenix type deal, even as bad as that is, there's, I think, a pretty reasonable chance that Ononoki just made an entirely new problem that is now going to be, you know, who even knows what's gonna happen with that, with, with Tsukihi. I think that makes a lot of sense, right? Um, and it plays into, like, the, the idea that both Ononoki and Tsukihi were making, like, mistakes. You know what I mean? Um, and so, yeah, I could see that definitely being the next thing we do. Again, it's hard to say because I don't know if we're going back or forward or, or whatnot. Aram. Bram, 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 bram. Bing, da, ding, 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 Shout out Aragi for undervaluing the self. That's why he's basically my favorite character of all time. He's kind of my goat. Aram, shout out Nadeko. Shout out Hachikuji. Ononoki was shining because of the oil. That makes sense. Kaiki said, I don't think this world is such an easy place to live in. That's super cool. Shows the Nadeko connection. Um, bram, 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 bram. Who knows if we're going to get a new watch order after these all come out. This is, I think, this is exactly what I was just kind of saying with, like, Nadeko, right? Let's show the person that lit literally created a god on her own how to project things through her new hobby profession while also potentially reducing her limiter by extracting the slug. What could go wrong? Yeah, exactly. I think that, that very well could be the next thing going on. Um, I already pointed to this that I liked. I basically agree with all this. Uh, I think that's cool. And then the rest of these comments are saying, where so back? See what I mean is we were quick on the comments this time. Not too much to add. I kind of want to like jump into it. You know what I mean? With it being a singular arc that's already finished, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like as much as I could like scrumptious this up, I kind of want to jump into the next and like start, you know, seeing why we even did this low key, right? Are we just trying to punchline? Is it just a little funny joke joke about Tsukihi? Is it set up for a future arc? Is it set up for the next arc? Who knows? Um, but honestly, I kind of just want to see it. You know what I mean? Episode two. I'm just gonna jump into it. What are you gonna do? Stop me? So look, there's Nadeko's back right there. Surely, okay, Nadeko identity crisis? Question mark. Hmm, what are we gonna do about that? I like how it's the manga styling again. Look, you can see the dot dot dots I talked about last time. The like shade dotting. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it could be like a like a take on me situation where like Nadeko is like falling into her hobby more literally as like an escape mechanism. We can maybe explore that, right? Um, I don't really know how the multiple identities could come into that. I'm just basing that off the trailer. Who freaking knows? Let's just jump into episode two. Let's see what happens in a three, a two, a one. Okay. Yeah, she's re dude, she's reading her thing as a manga series. That's crazy. Okay. She thinks her personality isn't consistent. That's hilarious. Ooh, I 
like the cutting of the bangs there. That was pretty cool. Okay. I agree with Ononoki. That was a good point. 15. They're all you, Nadeko. Okay, so we're doing it. Bro, this is, reminds me of uh, Hanakawa type beats. And, like, a lot of characters, honestly. It's all the one and only Nadeko Sengoku. Okay. New OP, new OP, new OP. Nade Monogatari Episode 0. Nadeko Draw, Part 1. Nadeko Draw. I feel like I recognize that. Oh, it's a bike! Okay, is it gonna be Ogi? Ogi, 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 Ogi! Are you running from Ogi? What is going on here? Get her, Ogi! Run her over! Yeah, slam the bike on her. Yo, okay, got the moves. Ragdolls. I feel like we've seen that ex almost exact scene before. Whoa, that flash of red. Ogi's dead. Oh, oh, he's alive. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Huh? What? What? A boy's uniform. Dang, Ogi, why you- why, why- the pose, okay. I didn't read what was on that car. Nah, new outfit, new me. Mm. That kind of sound like a play on, um, the Hanakawa phrase, a little bit. My current self. Very fitting with the, uh... That was a little strange. Very fitting with the multiple personalities thing that Nadeko was just talking about. Dang, Nadeko tall! Big brother Ogi. Alright. Hmm. Aragi, Aragi. Put respect on his name. Throw it out there. You are not Hachikuji. <laughs> loungewear. She's not going to school, bro. She's in loungewear. Why is she in loungewear? Subject change? She's dodging? Deflecting? <laughs> Sorry, the slow walk away is so funny. Oh, that's not good. Okay. I've been looking for myself is a crazy line to say. To get really good at something, to perfect something, to master something. I disagree with this thing. It's an arbitrary number, but whatever. It's so funny. Let's go with it. That's me on the stage. Right. Okay, that's just uh, that's just crazy. Let me round twenty four to twenty five. Sure. Okay, I'll let it happen. If you factor in sleeping, it'd be like three years. We gotta sleep. I'm thinking eight hours a day. No, that's you're doing your you're doing your math. You're doing your math. Yo. Yeah, got a piss, got a snack. 
That's the worst part of being alive. So much nonsense you gotta do, bro. I had to eat earlier today. What a freaking L. Or half the day to live in their lives. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Eight hours. Three years. I got you, Nadeko. I got you. She gnawed on my deco. <clears throat> You'll be 18 by then. Which is not a big deal. Calm down. I don't have that much time on my hands. Oh. Yo, yo, yo. Parents reveal. Parents reveal. Kind of. Oh, damn. That's... Okay. That... Okay, that sucks. Parents... Not having a good time with her. Or vice versa, I guess. Yeah, they've like flipped the script now that she's not... Yeah. <laughs> the thinker. <laughs> Where are we in the timeline? Okay, so we are after that point. Okay, that makes sense. It's ruining my feeling of being a shut-in. What is she helping you with? What is that pose supposed to help us with? I don't think what your idi idiotic self does is idiotic. Mm. Ow, why'd you have to bite it? That makes my teeth hurt. Okay. Toothbrush. Fair. Right, to, to then validate your further, further doing of it. Yeah. To be like, look, I can make moves. I got some money. I'm actually, this is a, this is a reasonable path for me. Um... That's fair. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. The sneaky. Well, but a shortcut? What are we trying to shortcut? Oh no, what are you about to do? Oh, I'll split- oh, you, oh, so you can go to school, and you can stay here. Oh, no, Kyo, are you literally causing this? Oh, wait, oh, wait, are we splitting her up so we can get multiple things done at the same time? That would be so crazy. I thought it would be unintentional, like, as a revolt of division, not, like, you can't tell her because she's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Oh, no, no, Kyo. Oh, instead of being anonymous? That's... The thing is, that's actually not a bad idea. Um... It, yeah, more... You would get a lot. I think it would be helpful. But obviously, a lot of people don't want to do that for good reason. I don't recommend it, but I'm going to tell you how to do it. You shouldn't do this, but I'm going to tell you all about how to do it. Dang, that's a good shot. So we need three of us. 
And she's dead. Throw back to the OP. One of the previous OPs. I like this music. Quality of the effort made. She <laughs> can be spinning. Triple in number, but aren't there four? Wait, are there? I actually don't know. I'm trying to remember. Okay, let's just let's just assume there's only gonna be three of them. But because that might be a thing later that happens. Oh, oh, there. Okay, this is why we do four. Five. Okay, that's more than four. <laughs> oh no, no, keep. One, two, three, four. It's in the clouds. One, two, three, four. I mean, I would do this if I could, obviously. I'd love to hang out with myself. Yo, what's good? <laughs> really put, put the cubed and pink cubed. Holy shit. <laughs> Triplets react, and it's just three versions of me. That's an interesting question, I mean. But are they really going to be yourself? If they're those different versions of you, as you've said? Part of your specialty. Oh boy. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh, here it comes, chat. A familiar. Oh, I like that. I like the coloring of Anunnaki there. I like the stylization. Yeah. True. She's good at that. Bro, it's... It's so weird that Mono there's a new episode of Monogatari and I'm watching it. Sorry, I just had a moment. Alright. But can you tie them all back together? You know what I mean? To get that 10,000 like in one person? Because we're kind of... You will draw four self-portraits. Oh, no, no, Ki is literally... Dude, she's literally like, don't do this, don't do this. Okay, draw this. <laughs> like, do it right now. I will enable all of it. She's not even saying, like, do you want to do this? She's saying, like, like, doing it. Like, yeah, we're doing this. Yeah, it's gonna be the same. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything going you want to give us an update on that situation? Or, like... No. Hmm. The popsicle sticks. Sure, the adventures of Sherlock Ononoki. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, I was- Because in my head, I'm thinking, but why? I'm thinking like 10 times- I was just thinking like, oh no, no, keep it why? Oh no, no, keep it why? Oh no, no, keep it why? At least that's a given reason of like, a test of talent to then... Introduce to Gaon, right? Hmm. 
You are not yet. You are not acknowledged to be harmless yet. Yeah, because Kaiki dealt, like, temp dealt with you, I guess. Yeah. You're gonna get jumped. <laughs> you think the talent will be enough to, like, save her? Okay, yeah. That's an idea. A monster of connections. Yeah, she knows a lot of people. That, yeah, okay, that's where it's gonna get real spicy. Oh, so, man, it's all intentional. If, if she's going to different designs for each one, then, like, they're gonna exhibit the different personalities. Well, it depends. Let's see. Let's see what the designs end up being. If it's gonna be, like... It would be the brink of my identity collapsing. Kind of what I was thinking where we're going, but now I'm a little... Yo! That's pretty cool. Hairdos? Yeah, it's so over. Ooh, ooh, she got the pencil trick. Okay. So this was- this is crazy. It's- the craziest part to me is that it was, like, not only intentional, but, like, deliberately planned. Like, all of this. Every part of it. They're really like, yeah, I'm gonna- it's gonna be my past selves. I'm gonna use that design. Now we got Meek Nadeko. Oh, shoot, it's about to get crazy. Yeah, this was when she was rising up Aragi. Aggressively approaching. Yeah, that's a way to put it. Flirty Nadeko? Meek Nadeko? Flirty Nadeko? Which one's this? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Rage Nadeko. Completely unwilling, it said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rage Nadeko. Angry Nadeko. Fair reason, okay. Wrath Nadeko. Yeah, okay. Meek, flirty, wrath. Snake Nadeko. Well, what do you want to call her? God, Nadeko. That's a really safe one to spawn, I think. <laughs> Current Nadeko. Why are we... Dude, spawning the god is a bad idea. Like, you know what I mean? Specifically, that's such a bad idea. And, like, what the god's gonna help you with your manga art? You know what I mean? Like, there's a reason the current you is doing what you're doing, and the past ones weren't doing what you're doing now. You know what I mean? It's kind of a sudden cut. Oh! Moranogi's back. <laughs> and so you drew them all. Ah, <laughs> ha! Uh, uh, you tell him, Ogi. Uh, uh, yeah, like... There's a reason that you weren't doing manga back then. Oh, oh, that's cool. Cool visual. Yeah, you really, like, fumbled the bag on this one, Anonoki. You just spawned four ver- like, it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Ogi's real for that. Ooh, wait. Don't say that. Oops. Forget about that. My fault. I'm sure it's my meager role. <laughs> they probably just ran off to do whatever they wanted to do. So, like, one would be in school, one would go to the shrine, one would go find Chase Araragi, something like that, right? <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. They don't care about that goal at all. Yeah. They all just start fighting. Hey, they all said it was good. <laughs> but I became the most hated of myself, so they all hated her. That's crazy. Bro, I want to meet the past me's. That'd be lit. I'd kill each of them. 
I don't want to work. Wrath Nadeko's- Oh, God Nadeko's out the window. Good. Good job. Well, we really fumbled this one on Anoki. And then Onanoki's gonna probably, or, yeah, Onanoki's gonna be like, This is all Tsukihi's fault. <laughs> That's what she's about to say. It's like Pokemon for a second there. Convenient. Dang, oh, you look kind of good in this shot. Sorry. Oh, it'll reflect on you. Yeah. Gotta deal with your past transgressions. Oh, maybe it's all just to do that, right? Because that's what she was saying earlier. And so now it's like we're literally having to take care of her past things and stop them from making mistakes. So that's like a very literal way to deal with our past mistakes. Okay, I assume it's just the school. Where are we? Meek Nadeko. Yeah, the middle school. Yeah, okay. They about to end that episode? I could feel that, bro. Why do I know, bro? I can feel it in my soul whenever they're about to end the episode, bro. I can feel it right here. Okay, stop doing that. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. Wait, it's the same ED. Can I get an OP? I want to I wanna see one of your OPs, bro. I love the OPs in this show. Give me the OP, bro. They keep juicing me, man. Next time we'll get one, I bet. Come on. Because this isn't the end of an arc, obviously. You know, this is like an entire beginning of an arc. So. Hmm. So, I think it's less about an identity crisis. I think it's not at all. I actually don't think it's about an identity crisis almost at all. Do I, do I dare say? Because, like, literally, her cur she's like, this is my current self. These are my past selves. I don't, I don't think that's even enough to spawn an identity crisis unless you have, like, extra juice going on. And she's like, oh, yeah, I mean, this is still me. But I think it's more, like, much more on the other... Andetto! Yeah, you tell him. But it's... Oh, my goodness. Wait, a chain of you and you makes a lot more sense now. Wait, it kind of works with both Tsukihi and Nadeko a little bit. This ED... Wait, cooking? Question mark? This world and this world are a strange thing. Will a demon appear next or will a snake? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, it's like, I don't even know if we're going into an identity crisis land. You Do you smell what I'm... S okay, bad analogy. I don't even know if we're going there because well she because she even makes a joke about it like it's that almost felt like a self-referential call out um oh geez I'm, I'm looking for the word self because I think it was or crisis crisis would maybe be the word I'm looking for no shit it's over chat I can't find it what'd she say identity maybe ident oh, yeah I think it was identity yeah 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 right here right here not just a big deal. It would be the brink of my identity collapsing. And this is in context with her saying, um, and it'd be a big deal if we couldn't figure out which of the five Nadecos was the real one. Not a big deal. It'd be the brink of my identity collapsing, right? And so they kind of even like, said like very specifically, like, oh, it's an identity thing, right? Uh, or like, oh no, what if, you know, what if our identity gets damaged by like all the Nadecos running around? And I think this is before they, yeah, this is before they came, a, they came up with the different design idea. So if anything, the different designs distinguish Nadeko which gives her a self-concept to stay stuck with while they're off in their own self-concepts, right? So I wouldn't actually say it's about that, um, which is interesting. That's cool. Uh, I think it's a lot more about what she was saying previously about atonement, right? Um, which now I feel like is like twice as important to actually look at. So, I mean, shoot, did you use the word atone? Right here. Left if you want, I should be making my atonement, right? I'm reaping what I sown with the time limit. And this is in, this is in context with the uh, the manga stuff, right? Where it's like, oh, I have a time limit of 10,000 hours if we're going by that standard. Or at least a time limit to make produce something that is good enough to warrant me continuing this thing that I'm passionate about, right? 
make something good enough to warrant me continuing this, right? So that's the time limit, but she looks at the time limit in kind of an ironic way of, oh, this is my punishment for doing for establishing a time limit. That's like the joke made. But I think there's a probably a really strong connection to be made where this atonement idea, this atonement idea is kind of the point of why we got all these different ones running around in the first place. You know what I mean? Or like the kind of the, the underlying point, right? Where they're all on the loose and oh, they might like the cops might get them because they're being pro they could be being very problematic out there. And it's so it's each of the different ways she's been problematic in her past, right? Meek, flirty, wrath, God. And she has to, with her current self, which would be an illustration of her character development, go and stop them, right? So it's basically like her proving her character development um, as opposed to like doubting it in an identity crisis. That's how I take it right now. Um, whether, I mean, shoot, could any of them say anything that would like make her doubt herself or like something? I don't know. Um, yeah, and then so when it comes, so that's, that's how I feel what the point of this is, and I quite like that, I think that's cool. Um, there's, for me, I mean, shoot, do you have to, like, atone for your sins? Like, I don't know, it sounds kind of crazy, but, like, I think it's really easy to whip yourself for your past actions. I mean, you know, um, let me just hover on this shot for a little bit. I think it's really easy to whip yourself for your past actions where it's like, it's like you're laying in bed and you're, and you're trying to fall asleep and you're like, oh man, that time that I, that I peed myself. Oh, it's horrible. It's making me cringe. Oh, that time I asked that girl out to prom and she laughed at me. Why did I do that? You know, like that type deal, um, where you're like cringing over your past behaviors or whatever. That's, it's kind of a similar thing where it's like, you have your past self, and I think a lot of people think their past self was cringe. There's a reason you're you, and I think a lot of the reason you're you is because you didn't want to be what you used to be, right? So now you're you. And so to look back on who you used to be and be like, damn, that kind of crazy. That guy was uh, losing his mind, guy, guy or gal, right? Um, I think supernatural, super space natural, a very natural thing to do uh, that I wouldn't, like, I don't know. Cause, cause it feels like we're, we're like, or like Nadeko's saying, oh, I need to, there's more I need to do for that. But a part of me is like, who even cares? Like if you've, ch if you've grown and changed for the better, what, you gotta fix your, you gotta atone for your past mistakes. I mean, you gotta, like if there's, if you like stab someone and then you don't, you gotta pay for that. Right. So if you stab someone and then you grow as a person, like, yeah, you should probably still deal with that, you know? But there comes to a, an extreme point that's closer to self-flagellation as opposed to actually correcting something you harmed, right? Like, like, I don't know, if the only person you ever hurt was yourself, do you really need to atone for that? Or can you just be better and change for the better? And then you've kind of like, like, who are you, who are you fixing? What are you, what are you, there's not like a problem you made that you're fixing anymore because if you've grown for the better, you've already fixed it, you're good, right? So it's kind of like that thought, um, where... I wonder, like, maybe maybe it's like she has like a, like some fierce like inward shame of who she was, and that would be like an unhealthy thing that this situation is like exhibiting. Um, or perhaps you, I mean, especially with God Nadeko, you could argue like, uh, yeah, she actually should probably atone for this, and like there's stuff that sh she actually should do, and that this serves like narrative purpose or whatever. Uh, or like I always, well, of course this is serving narrative purpose, but that like it's not a critique of this of her like reflecting on the past but actually like yeah she should do that you could argue that especially i think for god nadeko maybe wrath nadeko too but i don't know i i feel this I, in a weird way i feel like it's a, like a looking back on your past self and cringing thing that's kind of what it feels like and i have a mentality of like i don't know accept them for what they were right like you were a problem back then right for a myriad of reasons that you probably understand better than anyone else if you're somewhat self-aware. So instead of whipping yourself for that, I mean, accept that that's who you are and then accept that you're not that anymore, right? That you've moved on from that. And like, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to like keep keep making, making moves there unless you do. <laughs> wow, what is he trying to say anymore? Good question. Yeah, I don't know. Something like that, something like that where it shows that she's still stuck in her past in a sense. You know what I mean? Um, dang, this this ED kind of hit, right? When they said like the, 
myself, 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 and myself from the past. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me get the um the subtitles for this. Sub. Wait. Okay. So it's uh, a past you you looked away from to a boring future too. Like a past you looked of you looked away from is like for Nadeko it would be like oh she looked away from or it'd be like now she's trying to look at her past more directly to the point that she has conjured it into the present and it's to the point again that is now causing problems to happen right um so and that's kind of funny because there was like the entire thing with her bangs of like her not looking at things so for her to not it's like it's almost like a metaphorical bangs situation you know where it's like now she's flipping her hair back to look at the past you know um in in a sense and so yeah but like i don't know i'm more of a look i'm, I'm more of a look forward kind of guy right the the past is only useful to as a tool to make the present and future better that's where i'm at right i don't owe, i don't feel like i own anything to the past and i would push that onto others and say that you don't owe anything to your past but you should still use it to try to make your present and future as best you can right it's just a tool um but yeah I can't touch and don't want to touch myself, myself, and myself from the past. Myself, for myself, very clearly in a deco there. I've been dead for a long time now. I fight with a transparent ghost deep in a childish and painful memory. I fight with a transparent ghost? Okay. Bro, can you hear the cicadas, by the way? Shut up! Like, brother! Okay, anyways. Um... It's basically a complex you seem possessed, blah, 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 But yeah, so that's that's an entire interesting thing. There was also, what else, what was that other thing I wanted to talk about? Oh yeah, the 10,000 hours thing. Bro, this is a freaking brutal situation that I actually feel super kindred spirit with. The, uh, what Nadeko's, what Nadeko's thinking right now of the whole, oh, I would, I have this thing I'm passionate about, but it requires an egregious amount of time and effort, and people are thinking that, like, it's a bad idea for me to do it. Chat, you're watching me. I made a YouTube video. I have a YouTube channel. It's the same thing. It's li like you're watching it right now. This is my this is my equivalent of the manga, right? Or like you know what I mean? Where it's like your boy's YouTube channel. All right, I'm not gonna get too self-referential here, but it's definitely not at a point that I can really do something with it. You know, in the same way that she's like, oh, I need to like get an award or like be able to um make money so that I can like keep working on it, right? Like that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not there either, Nadeko, if it makes you feel better. Um, so I really don't blame you for that. It really is a point of like, it really can feel like madness at a time where it's like, oh, and, and I'm trying to apply this very, very, like very specifically to Nadeko, right? But it's like, oh, I'm devoting all my time for this thing, but I'm constantly getting distracted by like having to like deal with so many other things because guess what life is really complicated and there's a reason that like there aren't a bajillion master painters out there is because we ain't got the time to be painting brother you know it's it's really hard to slice time out of your day to devote to creation or devote to just almost anything right um because already it's like oh you need to pay for your stuff that's a slice you need to like deal with your future like education or whatever that's a slice you need to eat you need to drink you need to sleep sleep's a really big slice you need to take care of your hygiene you need to have a good social network you need to take care of your family you know blah 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 the list goes on and on and on and on and on and it only gets bigger when you know you grow up out of she's 15 right now it's only gonna get worse nadeko um and that's kind of what her parents are like pushing her on to do and it's like wow like like what onanoki was saying you know, it's kind of a good thing to, like, be, like, for the parents to be like, yo, you gotta make moves. You gotta be able to, like, take care of yourself. Like, like let, let's make some things happen, you know? Stop working on stuff that's, like, a waste of time. That's also depressing, though, because it's clearly something that Deco really, really cares about, right? It's just dreams. This is, this is dreams versus reality. You know what I mean? She dreams of being a manga artist. The reality might not agree, you know? If she can't crack it, then she can't crack it, and she will be in a worse position, right? Um, so it's like, you know, you, do you want to go down with the sinking ship of your dreams? It's depressing, but that's kind of true, you know? I say this as, again, somebody that has been on a ship freaking duct-taping the inside of it for, like, a few years now, right? And it's it's fine, chat. It's fine, right? Um, but yeah, so like, I can't really blame her parents. I would, I would say it's pretty cringe. I mean, she's 15. So like, first off, you gotta like, find yourself, find what you want to do, you know? Um, and if somebody like, really cares about something, I think you should always support them in that, right? But 
So like the whole them being like, oh, that's idiotic. That's a bad move. That's a bad move from parents. Um, but being like, hey, you can't like get rid of all the other parts of your life, AKA be a shut in in pursuit of that. That would be a fair thing to say. You know what I mean? Cause that is what Nadeko is doing. She is a shut in. She's not going to school. Um, she's just writing a failing manga series. That's just not going to work. You just can't do that, right? Um, and you know, it's different if, if it's successful. That's the worst part, by the way. It be, the, the fact that if she were successful, her current behavior would be acceptable is agonizing. That's crazy, is it not? Because all it goes from, oh, I'm freaking, I suck, to, oh, I was right. You go from the obsessive, like, loser who wasted all their life, wasted all their time, wasted all their energies and efforts. You go from that into the, oh, wow, they really blew up. Who could have seen this coming, right? And I, you know, it just is what it is. So, Onanoki, um, or Nadeko, like, as much, you know what I mean? It's a tough balance. It's, it's honestly kind of like, you could, it's a gamble. It's just a gamble. I don't freaking know, bro. Um, you gotta be a realistic, but I think he, I think there's room for both. I think you can do a little bit of both, right? You can still go to school and just devote less time to manga, manga type beats. You know what I mean? Less time to your dreams. You can still pursue your dreams. Just slow it down a little bit so that you don't destroy yourself in trying to pursue your dreams. If you're reaching for the clouds and the heavens, all right, get yourself a step stool, go up, you know, stretch a little bit and then go down, you know, take a little nappy nap and then read to repeat. W analogy thoughts the step ladder one really cooked yeah um what else happened in this episode her looking at her own life like a book her the personality is all over the place that that's kind of funny because like she's critiquing a character but like because she's literally the embodiment of that character because she is that character it's like you it's well written because it's accurate to reality. You know what I mean? That almost like highlights an interesting division in like characters versus real people. Where whereas real real people are super complicated, multifaceted, all these sorts of things. But like if a character does that, like there's a good chance that people won't get it, and, or maybe it's just not executed well enough, and then they just look like a mess of a character. You know, um, as opposed to like, oh, this character's super fleshed out and deep, bro. Instead of looking like that, it's like, oh, this character makes no sense and it's just a mess and like does whatever the plot wants it to, you know? But in at least this case, it's like, Nadeko, it's literally you. Like, like this is a good character because it's a, re it's at least a realistic character, if nothing else. You could argue it's a bad character, but like personality all over the place. Like there's a reason each of these things happened because guess what? It's realistic to reality because guess what? It actually happened. So that's kind of funny. Um... Nadeko's current design, by the, by the way, bro, she, what is this, I hate this run, sorry, I don't need to come for you, Nadeko, it's just, this is my biggest, like, pet peeve in all anime, it's the stupid, <laughs> run, you are not speeding up, you are not speeding up, this is not giving you any extra movement, like, ball your fists, okay, at least give me bald fists when you're doing it, alright, little princess peach, you know, I'm sorry, freaking Ogi, I love Ogi, what was Ogi saying? Ogi was just like, oh, let me let me bring you to to Nadeko, to the other Nadeko. I mean, I appreciate that, Ogi. Hmm. Cause it, well, and Ogi does start with the like, oh, I was gonna bring you to school thing. I mean, I'm sure Ogi already knows that. Is this a reference? I feel like this gotta be a reference to something. Her dance here, that looked like a reference. Does it not? Yeah. Um, but yeah, where's that other Ogi scene? I want to see the other Ogi scene again. And Ononoki, bro. Ononoki, is that really your- is that really your play here? That you're just trying to make connections for Gon and see if she's, like, useful enough to no longer be- like, for her usefulness to outclass her, um, danger level? To, like, save Nadeko? Because that seems reasonable. And it's- and it's again- it's kind of a, a, a funny parallel to the- mom and dad situation with Nadeko, where with the mom and dad one, Nadeko needs to prove herself as an artist in order to, like, be able to keep doing her manga stuff and not inspire the, 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 like, distaste of her parents. As much as that's happening, there's, like, the parallel of 
Nadeko needs to do good enough with this oddity manga stuff with Onanoki in order to not be classified as a threat or or at least be classified as useful for Gon. So in both cases, she's being tested, right? Um, assume, yeah. So that's kind of fun. There's like a dual thing going on. And she's hopefully at least proved herself, though it's kind of, again, like a self-fulfilling prophecy where it's like, okay, now there's God in a deco running around, which was kind of like, it proves that you're even more dangerous because nobody's got a hold on you because Onanoki is freaking just going crazy, you know? But maybe Onanoki got this all under control. <laughs> Copium? But yeah, um, what was the line that you weren't supposed to know, Ogi? Right here? Oh, the referring in self, referring in third person. Something like that. Reminds me how you refer to yourself in third person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, this was really the callback episode, <laughs> Loki. Oh my goodness, it's weird. You can, you can literally see Ogi's hands. Look, the, the ripples of the cloth over them. It's like a... Over the... The, like, break of the, the thing of the, the handlebars, it maybe? Or maybe she's just holding them up. He. Whatever. Wait, what'd you just say? <laughs> Give me a run back. No, wait, the only thing my powerless self can do is show you the way. Yeah, you are just a niece right now. Or, wait, niece, nephew. Wait, which one's the dude one? Wait, I actually forgot. Yeah, GG. I think it was niece, was what was said. But now we- wait. Niece is a girl, right? Because with the darkness, it was it was niece. Because it was girl at the time. Wait, okay, never mind. I'm freaking getting- I'm confusing myself with that- with freaking- Who cares about nieces and nephews? Point is, affirmed. Affirmed. Um, yeah, they all disappeared. Of course they did. I assume they're just all going to the locations. Bro, why can't I just watch another episode? This is actually mucked up. You know what I mean? I feel like I just want to, like... I'm, like, ready to jump into the next one. I'm still a little... I don't I don't know exactly what they're doing here, man. You know? I like the idea of her, like, dealing with her past mistakes, but it's like, okay, then what? You know what I mean? Like, she corrects them all, and then she, like, contains them all. What's the arc here? You know? Does she learn to move on from the past? So, or like, cause I feel like she, maybe she, feel, she feels like she needs to look at the past, right? In the same way that the bangs you discover it, now she's like, okay, let me actually look into the past, deal with this shit, right? That's why she goes along with this, I think, you know? It's kind of a theory too. I mean, that isn't necessarily true, but that's kind of the impression I've gotten. Um, And so what, she does this, she finds them all, and then does she have to like, kind of speed run the character development with each of them? Or maybe, like, come to accept them as they were. Because I feel like that would be a cool... That'd be a cool arc where it's, like, she's coming... She has to accept each of the hers that she's been, you know? And that, and that it kind of lines up with, like, Hanakawa, as I kind of mentioned briefly. Um, where it's, like, oh, like... You got to accept it into one being, you know? You're split into three. Hanakawa's split into three, right? Black Hanakawa and the freaking Tigre. El Tigre. And the... Slept them all into one. Um, and so it'd be kind of a, it'd be kind of a similar similar deal you know where she goes around and yeah i guess because she could does she well what does she do does she does she freaking and then like fuse into one being or they're kind of more like dolls right they're more like animated dolls so she wouldn't even fuse with them because they didn't really get split from her because it's not a it's not a freaking um a it's not a i don't think it's a split identity thing at all right which would be a divergence from the hanakawa thing um yeah Okay, that was just a picture of on Anoki, and it says, "Oh wait, this is some of that art. Look at that art. Isn't this um? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But yeah, so it's not even that. So maybe, what are we even needing to do then? I mean, except you could still accept it without. Yeah, you could still accept it as past events, as opposed to Hanakawa, who it was a very present event for. It wasn't based in the past at all. It wasn't based temporarily. So this would be accepting the past and how you were, instead of like languishing over that." Um, or being mad over that. And we have the innocuous reason of the 10,000 hours, like, grind set thing to promote that, which is ba which is built off of, like, a karmic thing. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. That's kind of where I'm at, Chad. What do y'all think? Any thoughters? Any thinkers? I kind of feel like I'm good. I want the OP so I can analyze it, man. I got nothing to analyze. Nah, shit. Well, I'm going to say that, and people are going to be like, 
Um, actually, if we go to this scene, you'll see there's birds and there's bikes, and the bikes are uh, referential to how there's actually not just one Ogi, not even just two Ogis, but 30 Ogis coming in the future. Oh my goodness. He was right all along. There's gonna be 30 Ogis. Oh my goodness. We're gonna be lit. But dang, chat, yeah, I think that's all I really got for this one. It is what it is. On to the next. Should be exciting. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment down below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me or other Monogatari fans there. I will be here next week, ready to watch the episode. I hope you will too. But until then, until next time, that's all I got for tonight. I will see you then. Peace.